Yep, a lot of football games lost there by the Chiefs. <laughs> Bazinga. Go Seahawks. Got some packages here in Kansas City. So, before I go uh, outside, before I go explore some of Kansas City, I'm going to open a few. I don't know if I'm going to open them all on camera, but this one the shape and the timing oh my gosh you see it it says YouTube yes this is what I thought it was look at that box that is sexy this is yours Jax yeah oh my goodness there's a letter here from YouTube, it says, I'm gonna read it to you, Jax, okay? You've done something very few YouTuber creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. Yeah. We know numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel was touched by what you did. They were inspired or challenged or entertained. You made it to this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and chances are a healthy sense of humor. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with this silver play button, a small token of our esteem and respect. We know you don't do this for rewards, you do it because you have a drive to create and share, and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Sincerely, Susan Wojcicki. CEO of YouTube. Wow, do you mind if I pry this open and see? Oh my gosh, look at that! YouTube silver play button, it says Nomadic Fanatic on it. Oh my gosh! This is epic. Obviously, I had to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel for liking my videos, for sharing my videos, for sitting through ads before my videos. Thank you so much, guys. It has been a crazy three and a half years to 100,000 subscribers. And if you had told me this was going to happen any time in my lifetime, I would have never believed it. Um, you know, I've put everything into YouTube in this last year. I mean, everything. My main priority has been to create videos, film, edit, and upload them to YouTube. And unfortunately, sometimes that makes it so that I'm really delayed in getting back with people. Um, I've, I've kind of lost some of that personal touch to stay in touch with messages and, and replies on YouTube. But, you know, my main goal has been to keep the videos consistently being uploaded no matter where I'm at in the country. And I've hit all sorts of obstacles and uh, having internet on the road when you're traveling and trying to enjoy remote places of the world has been tricky. But man, we got here. You guys got this for me. Thank you so much, guys. I don't know where I'm gonna display it just yet. Maybe in the bathroom, above the toilet? No, find a better spot. Wow. I kinda, of, almost like shaking. I got like goosebumps and stuff like this. That's amazing. Thank you so much, guys. And it happened here in Kansas City. I will say this, it took quite some time to get I reached 100,000 subscribers sometime in mid-March of this year, and then YouTube never said anything. Like, a whole month went by, and then sometime in the middle of April, they said, hey, we're reviewing your channel to see if you really have 100,000 subscribers, and we'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. Then sometime in May, they said, hey, click on this reward. It was a, well, click, accept this award, and it was in my dashboard on YouTube. Also showed up on a little blue line very next day when I logged in. So it said, claim this award. I clicked it and it said, where do you want it sent to? Did we spell your name right and everything? And then it said, expect it to be shipped within eight to 12 weeks. And I was like, oh my gosh, so another three months. I won't get it till the fall. And uh, here we are in June and it arrived. Actually arrived back to my post office back home and I had a buddy resend it here to Paul's house here in, where are we? Kansas City, just outside of Kansas City, so, okay. All right, we're going to do Kansas City today.
So we're in the truck here. We're going to be driving and hitting some spots here in Kansas City. Samuel's driving me around here, so we'll see what we can find. So this is a different perspective of uh, Kansas City. I was here a few uh, years ago. I'll link a couple videos of like 18th and Vine and a few other downtown locations, but today we're up here on Cliff Drive with a nice view of downtown. And look at this. There's a big, huge waterfall right off the road. Let's go check it out. Nicely done, Kansas City. Very nicely done. I like this a lot. Oh, there might be a little trail path slash hike up to the top. All right, we'll carefully walk this to the edge right here and then take a look down. Ooh, check it out. Yep, way up here. All right, everybody, how about an amphibious car here? That's right. Check it out. Just drive it right out to the lake. All right, if that's your thing. That's different. So we're inside here at KC Auto Works. They've got some interesting stuff. Not sure if they're using these for parades or what, but look at this buggy. Oh, look at that Mustang. Oof. Ooh. So just gonna be doing some downtown Kansas City stuff for the day today. Just gonna do it one day and then they're gonna maybe go do some more like boondocking in the forest or outskirts of town. But today, that's the day. And I got Tony driving me around today. So did I already use Tony? <laughs> yep, Union Station on a beautiful afternoon here in Kansas City. Taking the escalator up. The ceiling. Wow. Kind of quiet today, but you know, they got the clock tower. What's behind the velvet curtain there? Since 1914. Looks a little empty in here. Got my new magnet for Kansas City here, right in Union Station. Pretty neat place. So there's the big Liberty Memorial up there, guys. Pretty cool. Oh, I want to go jump in that fountain and cool off. As we get up close, I just want to show this art on the front, because this is a war memorial here. Climbing right now. Can I go find the entrance here, or look for it? This is a pretty cool view from, we're not at the top yet, but there's downtown Kansas City. It's the old Western Auto sign over there, right there. That is cool. Looks like huge sphinx here at the entrance. It says, in honor of those who served in the World War in defense of liberty and our country. And yes, thank you for your service. Let's go up there. Here we go for a ride. There we go. And elevator going down. I guess we gotta keep climbing here. Alright. Might need sunglasses now. Woo! Whoa. What a view. There it is. Way up here. There comes our ride. Woo! Well, we're here back in Kansas, everybody. Yeah, just a short little drive into another state, and this is uh, Caw Point here. So for timing, uh, Lewis and Clark uh, arrived here at Caw Point on June 26th, 1804. Yep, here's the spot, guys. As you can see behind me, they're pointing out there. We got the Missouri coming in off to the left, and we got the Kansas coming in right there. Look straight ahead. You can literally almost see, hopefully you can see the line 
like blue water on the left and brown water on the right. And they'll keep going. Take a look, everybody. It's an early picnic table from the Lewis and Clark expedition. Preserved here. I'm sure they camped right here on the river and uh, ate up some grub. Hmm. Or something. <laughs> you know, it would seem that Kansas City is the land of fountains. This city has more fountains than any city I've ever seen in the country. And here's a really cool one. Okay, so this is called the Fourth Dolphin by J.C. Nichols. It's the J.C. Nichols Memorial Fountain, I'm sorry. And some of these sculptures were done by Henry Leon Greber in 1910. It really reminds me of the Chicago Fountain too, the uh, Love and Merit. It's not, but it's still pretty cool. There's some awesome sculptures. Woo! Well, I'm getting to see all sorts of really fun stuff here in Kansas City, thanks to my chauffeur, Paul, over there. <laughs> um, anybody up for a game of badminton? Yeah, apparently this park is uh, very welcoming to badminton, as you can tell by the huge birdie behind me. <laughs> Actually, this park is called uh, the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. So clearly, whatever it does, say it with me now, it's doing it now. Is it doing it now? I can't tell. I, I really can't tell what it's supposed to do. You got that doohickey there. And then you got this big, cool silver tree. Look at that. That's actually kind of cool. It's a very artistic city. I'll give you that, Kansas City. Very nice. Very nice. Well, guys, it was a really warm day. Uh, Kind of burnt out from the sun. Gonna enjoy some air conditioning for an hour here and then we're gonna hit the road and go see a Royals game. Now bear in mind because of the the rules and the copyright stuff from Major League Baseball I can't show you any plays or depictions or any events from the game but that's not really why I'm going. I'm going there because it's Kauffman Stadium right next door to Arrowhead and uh, so I'm, I'll show more of the field I guess and stuff like that but I'm gonna be pretty exhausted when I get back so I'm going to officially say goodbye right now, and we'll go see the game. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you in a couple days. We're going to go do some camping. Bye-bye. Check it out, everybody. The sun is setting. Here I am in Kansas City. We've got Arrowhead Stadium behind me where the Chiefs play, and over here we got the Royals. Yep, it's a sea of blue here. It's waiting to get in. Well, barely made it in. They were not going to let me get in with this camera. They called it too professional. I brought my cannon in. I had to have somebody else approve it and say it was okay. Look at that. You get liquor right there. Looks like 11.50 for beer. Cheaper than Los Angeles. All right, I got my $12 beer. Look at this beautiful stadium. Wow. Look at that, they got waterfalls over there. Disappointed. You didn't hide very well. A lot of disappointed uh, Royals fans. Yeah. And now it's a mad dash to get out of here. Actually, we're just gonna sit here. Right. <laughs> Beautiful stadium over there. Kaufman Stadium, right next door to Arrowhead.
Look at that full moon up there. Woo. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.